What's interesting about sound is it's really all around us. And especially, you know, if you think about anywhere where you hear music that's played over a speaker, there's been some audio engineer that's been involved in that. So anywhere where you hear sound in a slightly unnatural way, there's been an audio engineer involved in the creation, the recording, and potentially the playback of all of that. So for me, it's a very, very critical area to be in, um, and it's a great and exciting challenge to be here as well. So the main course that we have is the Bachelor of Music majoring in audio. And this is a fully comprehensive, practical and theoretical course. And we take our students through primarily the studio environment, uh, but also in other areas such as live sound and film sound, uh, to do various aspects of audio engineering. My advice for any students wishing to think about studying audio, well, it's a passion. You've really got to be living it, breathing it, thinking about it all the time. It's one of these professions that is forever changing, so you always have to be keeping up with that. The benefits to students coming through AIM is that they can walk out into the industry with specialist skills in live sound or studio or digital studio or the film and media industries and that's like no other course. So a couple of the new and exciting things that are starting off for January 2015. Traditionally, audio courses have been really focused on the studio environment. And while that's great, there are other audio environments that are available to graduates working out in the industry. So AIM has taken that on board and we're offering not only specialist studies in the studio environment, but in other areas as well. So for example, if you're interested in live sound or theatre sound, you can do specialist study pathways into that audio environment. The journey for the audio student kind of starts this way. We give students basic mixing and uh, signal flow type skills in a studio environment. From there they move on to some basic recording where they record a singer-songwriter and we've got 1400 musicians here so there's never a shortage of people. Once they get through those basic foundation stages, that's where they need to make a choice about which pathway they want to follow. And as I talked about before, we've got the studio environment, the live sound environment, the digital studio environment, or the media post-production environment. So audio engineering courses have really changed throughout the years. You know, I did a course in 1989 and my first exercise as a practical exercise was chopping up tape to re-edit it, sort of a, a speech. Nowadays, of course, you can just do that on a computer. And so just as audio engineering has evolved to be more computer based, uh, uh, audio courses have done the same. So there's always this constant update of information, techniques and technical equipment to move the courses forward.